So hello guys, this is Manar Gupta back with another video and this time we have a new room for you guys and this time it is the Nitrogen OS. Yeah, you heard it right. It's the Nitrogen OS which is for Redmi Note 3. Here you can see the Android version is 7.1.1. The Android security patch is first stand and the kernel is a stock kernel that is built on the official sources so that's all about this rom now let's quickly go to how to flash this rom first of all root is needed and you need to reboot into the recovery mode so whatever your rom you are on you need to boot on the recovery mode now you can see the device is booted into the recovery mode here you have to wipe your existing system by clicking on debug cage system data cage and you have to swipe to wipe make sure to back up your existing rom if you face any issues you can go back to your custom your stock rom or any rom that you are currently on now go to install Select the ROMs, uh, ROM that you want to flash. In our case, we have the Nitrogen OS for Kenzo. Select the gaps you need to flash. In my case, I'm flashing the micro gaps. And more, you need to flash all this FPC fix, which is the fingerprint fix. Now, how to know that you need to flash this or not? If you know the current fingerprint ha hardware that your device has, you can select it if you need or you can try the ROM without flashing this zip and if the fingerprint is not working, flash this zip. So that's all that you need to flash and after you select all the stuff, you can select the pixel experience zip, titanium backup, CM14 firmware, etc, etc and flash the ROM by swiping. For Volti support, you need to restore the EFS backup that you will have backed up from the earlier MIUI versions. So I have already flashed this ROM, I will not be flashing this at this time. So we will directly be rebooting into the system mode. So here we have the device with us, the custom room will boot, reboot like this only. Now here let's quickly go to the settings of this custom room and see what this room offers us. Now all those existing settings that every room has, let's quickly go to the personalization settings that this room offers first of all this is status bar you can choose the status bar icons you can select the battery style and all the stuff network network traffic carrier label custom header images this one i like a bit but not on nugget so you have all those status bar options here quick settings which is not that useful i guess quick pull down you can select it at right or left or always you can select the layout according to your needs whatever you want wi-fi easy to go advanced data tile and all those important stuff that you want further we have button customizations you can choose what activity what button performs like you can customize the home button for long press to this recent panel according to needs few navigate navigation bar options like you can enable it then we have gestures lock screen power menu you can select what all you need in the power menu this is quite a useful feature for me 
so you have all those options like notification heads up power notification controls expanded notifications notification count etc then we have the miscellaneous we have the miscellaneous options which includes wake clock blocker this one is my favorite feature which is the mp NTP instead of charging when we connected to the USB so that's an important feature that I was looking for now we have the recent applications you can select what you want you have the show memory bar option clear on button location and all this stuff further one important thing you can hide apps like if you don't want your music to be stopped or other stuff you can select any of them so that's all the customization is offered by this nitrogen os we have those app permissions super su is inbuilt we have the ambient display you can select according to your needs but these drain a lot of battery then let's quickly go to the memory consumption it's 2.3 gigs which is okay the one day consumption is 2.2 gigs according to my heavy usage in these few days it's okay further we have no other what we can say is we have no other interesting stuff other than these permissions and super su in the settings itself so now let's quickly go to the battery options here you can see the battery drain and stuff you can see the battery is quite good for the screen on time it's around 3 hours and 50 percent is already gone which is quite okay then we have phone idle which is 14 hours 17 minutes good I would say now my usage is music all the time Bluetooth all the time YouTube comments and all that stuff so that's all which that's all things that I need I use mostly then I am on LTE all the time so that also consumes a bit of battery now coming to the performance of this customer the performance was really good so we didn't face any lags on whatsoever we did on this custom room everything was good especially the battery backup it was better than almost all the rooms that I tried which are based on those signage and sources and the optimization this room offers is really good no doubts this is one of the most interesting rooms the most the best not the best but yeah we can say it's one of the best custom rooms that is available for redmi note 3 right now the performance is good battery backup is amazing memory consumption is okay we have all the necessary features that are present in the personalization options we have all those important stuff that is required and further we have the theme engine support which is this substratum theme engine and it's i will take time to get used to this theme engine and it's really easy to use the same engine there so that's all important stuff that i needed to highlight now coming to the bugs all those important bugs that we have the torch bug oops it's working yeah great it is a moody touch like now it's not working now it's working so it depends upon your timing your luck that it will work or not same as the thing with camera you can see it's working now so you here you can see it's lagging lagging and lagging and lagging 
so this is an alternative camera which can solve many of your issues so the camera is a bit buggy we have the flashlight bug none other than these two bugs bothered me a lot but yeah these bugs are to be taken care of as soon as possible and the developers are working on it so that's all from this custom room i guess let's do a quick gaming performance of this room We are running this game on high graphic mode. Let's see if we face any lags or what. So here you can see there were no fame drops or whatsoever. So that's all a quick gaming performance review. So we didn't face any heating issues. Though a bit of heat can be felt on the front section of the phone but not that much that we face on Lineage OS. Everything is quite good. The ROM is quite good. Everything is present that we require on daily usage and we can say this room is good enough for daily use so that's all my review on this custom room this room has the personalization features that i require this room is having a good battery backup this room has less of those camera fc's performance is good no lags and whatsoever so this is, yeah, we, I would say I will prefer this ROM over Resurrection Remix also because I don't need all those bolted features that Resurrection offers. This ROM has the minimal number of features that I need and I am quite satisfied with the performance of this ROM. I will be on this custom ROM for a few days now. So if you have any doubts, do comment below. Do share this video if you liked it and do hit a thumbs up that will encourage us for making more videos. So that's all from this review. We will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this video again. Bye bye.